So here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to have a look at how to create a basic high quality export of your video. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you have the edit that you want to export up and visible. So if you don't have it visible, then just come to your library on the left hand side and you may need to scroll up and you should find all your different edits listed there. So if we double click on the edit we want to export, it will pop up in the timeline. Then when we export, we're looking for the share button or going to file share in the menu. And actually before we export anything, one thing to make sure you do is to make sure that you have any ranges that you might have had selected during your edit deselected. So actually this is the way that you export a portion of your video out, but if you want to export the whole thing out, you want to make sure that you don't have any selections using the range tool or where you've marked areas of your timeline within an out point. Otherwise you'll end up with just that selection. And if it's a tiny selection like this, it will seem like your export has happened really quickly, but actually you'll end up with a second of video, which is going to be no good. So to do that, I'm going to go to edit and deselect all or shift command A, one of my favorite shortcuts. And now we can go to the share options in one of two ways. So if we go to file and share, you can see we've got some different options for sharing our project. And we're looking for the master file option. And now the other place that you can find this is up in the share button on the top right. It's the easiest place to access it. If we click there, we can come to master file and it will bring up the master file export window where we've got a couple of options and I'll walk through those with you. So if you want to check here that you haven't got anything selected, then you can scrub through your entire video and make sure that it's exporting the whole thing and not just a short selection of it. And we can also check the resolution and frame rate. So 1920 by 1080 is full HD. It's not 4K, but for most video, 1920 by 1080 will be a really good quality for uploading to YouTube or uploading to Facebook, depending on where you're sending your video to. And we've got our audio channels here and we've got the duration of the video. So again, if we know how long our video is, we can just double check here that we're exporting everything that we want to. It's going to export as a QuickTime movie, and we have a couple of options here. So if we're exporting to upload to Facebook or YouTube, then QuickTime movie will be fine. So if we come into the settings options here, we're exporting out video and audio in H.264. If we want to export out an archive, a really high quality archive version, then we may want to export out an Apple ProRes version, which is an uncompressed version of your video. So it's lossless, so you basically will end up with a full quality version of your video. H.264 is compressing it down, it does a really good job. It will be fine for YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, other platforms that you're uploading to. The one time we would do something different is if we wanted to upload something to Instagram, which only accepts the MPEG-4 video version as I'm making this video. And so we go to under format computer, and now we're exporting out an MPEG-4 movie rather than a QuickTime movie. So that's the main two choices here. If you're having problems uploading to a certain platform, then you may want to move from video and audio, which will be full quality QuickTime movie in H.264, to the computer option where you can export out an MPEG-4 version of your video. When our video is finished exporting, then we can open it in QuickTime Player or in a different application. And we can also include chapter markers. So if you're going to export your video and then send it to someone to make a DVD at a later stage, you may want to include those chapter markers in there as well. So once that's all set up here, we can see an estimate of the file size. We can press next. And then I'm just going to label mine as Mexico export and hit save. And I just hit enter there to hit save, which is the quickest way of doing it. So now that our video is exporting, we can see the progress of that by coming to the background tasks up here, and we can see the sharing is quickly running through this very short video. There's no effects on there, really too much, so it's gonna do a pretty quick job of exporting. Once you've actually got any effects or more text or more titles on your video, you'll notice that things will start to take a lot longer to export. There's also some things, if you added stabilization to your video, that you'll have to wait for Final Cut Pro to finish doing those things before you can actually export. So now if we come to the desktop, you can see we have the exported video. So my Mexico export. And actually if you wanna see a real quick preview of your video on a Mac, um, and that can be a video that you've exported from Final Cut Pro or any video that you've downloaded, just highlight your video on the desktop or in the finder and tap the spacebar and it will give you a preview of that video. So that's our exported video, um, ready to upload to Facebook, YouTube, wherever you want to upload it to. 
it's ready to go.